So here we are again in sunny Spain. Uh, we're with Fran and Jose from Corhu Hunting, and we're hunting ibex. Now, as you can see behind me, this is some of the most beautiful terrain I've ever had the privilege of hunting in. But not only is ibex hunting special in its own right, but today is a very, very special day. Today is my birthday. I'm 21 again. But um, yeah, it's been an absolute privilege what more could you want on your birthday? And as you can see, these rolling hills will sap the strength of even the strongest hunter, let alone somebody who's probably not had enough sleep. That said, it is a special day, and Wadi put a huge amount of effort in this morning. However, they're sitting in places which are very, very difficult to get to. This area we're hunting in now, we know it's really good in spring. Groups of males tend to come here in spring because they feel relaxed in this area. Very few people come to this area for, I mean, there's no real reason to come here but hunting. Jose is a fantastic hunter. He, um, he knows the layout of the ground and the ibex. He's like got a sixth sense. I think he's off ibex himself. We go round, we go up, we go down. He gets to a little bush. He looks around it, pops his head up. Sure enough, the ibex are in front of us. It doesn't matter how far away, they always seem to be in front of him. And then it's, uh, and we back off and we go down and we go round and we go up again. And sure enough, we're another 100 yards closer, but in front again. He's, um, he's unreal, he's a talented, talented man. The ibex were 1,200 yards away when we first spotted them this morning when we were all glassing. Um, and looking across the valley, it looked um, well, quite a nice little easy stroll. But um, the terrain up here, as you can see, when you have seen, it's um, quite challenging. It's um, definitely uphill. Very thick bushes, thorn bushes and um, rosemary, kind of grabbing at your ankles, sapping the strength with every stride. And just after you finish going down, you end up going back up and then back down. And Wildy's a, a big, stout fella. He's not made for mountains, but he did extremely well. And then we got across the ravine from where the animals were laying, and they were basking in the sun, but they've got this sixth sense. They can just feel when there's danger close by. And they stood up all looking around, couldn't quite see where we were, but knew that there was something up. They seem to know that you're there without, we were, we were quite a long way away across the valley, the wind in our favor, everything was correct. But these guys, they seem to think, hmm, I'm not quite sure, a little wag of the tail and they're moving. You've got to be so much more prepared. You can't just sit and wait. You've, when they're there, they're there, they'll, they'll present the shot. You get your chance, you take it. High in the lungs, both lungs, three or four steps forward, and then it tumbled down. And then all I can say is just the elation that was in his face. There is something really special about hunting in mountainous terrain. It's not like going to a high seat and waiting to harvest an animal for the freezer. There's something almost spiritual about it. And with this being his birthday, it made it extra special. He's an eight-year-old, the management Ibex. Beautiful shape because he's really open and a special trophy because the tips point differently. One turns back and the other one like opens up. So it was a perfect management Divex because it's not symmetrical. And at the same time, a beautiful trophy that Steve Wilde will never forget. Happy birthday to you. Well, <laughs> seeing as it is my birthday, I think I might have a little light refreshment this afternoon and tonight. 
And then again, um, I might have two where normally I only have one. So today I think I'm going to have two. And um, I'm going to have to see what the morning brings to see how we go about for the rest of the weekend. <laughs> <laughs>